The Fort Valley State University Wildcats are 3-0 after taking down Allen University 29-27 behind the performance of this guy, Kelvin Durham, starting quarterback for the Wildcats. He put up three touchdowns in week three, including the game-winning score on a crazy scrambled 10-yard touchdown pass to help solidify the win. He is our featured player of the week. Kelvin, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. So the team is now 3-0 and for the first time since 2004. How does it feel to be a part of that? Uh, it feels good just being able to win back-to-back -back games, doing something that hasn't been done in Fort Valley, and just want to continue doing it with me and my teammates and the coach staff. So what had you feeling so good, not only just this season overall, but especially in week three, such a great performance by you? Uh, just the confidence and my teammates and coaches that keep me pushing. Even though I didn't have the games I won in the first two weeks, they still had confidence in me to make the plays that needed to be made. So that alone just made me feel good coming to this game. So they always say, you know, quarterbacks, you want to have a quarterback that can, when the ball is in their hands and you're down, like you believe in that guy on the center, you know, he's going to lead us to a win. And you you show that versus Allen. How how did you feel starting that drive knowing you had to come out with a touchdown? Uh, it just felt like a normal drive to me, honestly. It just. I knew he was going to say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we had to make up or we'll put the ball on, put the ball in the end zone. So I talked to my receivers. I told them I need them, and they came through and made plays for them. So every drive is just the same drive for you. No drive feels different. You Your heart wasn't racing a little bit? No, no pressure? Every drive, same goal, trying to get in the box. <laughs> So when you look at yourself and do a little self-assessment, what part of your game are you the most proud of right now? Uh, I'm the most proud of me being able to manage the game and stay controlled throughout the game, like not get too high, not get too low, just remain comfortable and just be able to be the same way throughout the whole game. Okay, you definitely show that, especially in that clutch moment. So what has been the key to success for Fort Valley this season? Like I said, 3 and 0 first time since 2004. What has you guys feeling so good? Uh, like what our coach tells us all the time, stopping the run, protecting the football, and winning the kicking game. We do those three the whole season. I don't think we lose the game. We continue out 3 and 0 it's had the same motion the whole season. Okay. So as you look ahead to next week and to – the rest of the season. You guys are 3-0. You're doing so many things right, but I know you guys are real critical of yourselves. What are some things that you want to see in the coach and everybody want to see tightened up in order to win in the SIAC this season? Uh, Really offensively. We haven't played our best offensively, and we're still 3-0, as you said. So once we get on the right track offense, I think we'll be a much better team as the season goes on. I love it. So lastly, how has it been adjusting to a new coaching style, having a new coach in town? Obviously, it's been going great, but how has the team been adapting to the new coach? I'm about to say uh, Coach Gills, he makes it very easy for us to play, go out there and have fun and play football. He shows up a lot of confidence. And on the other side, he also shows that we got to be disciplined and be ready to go down for the team. So just with his confidence, it like evolves around the whole team. Seeing him happy makes us want to go hard and just get the job done for him. I love it. Well, guys, I am Simone. He is Kelvin Durham. Three touchdowns against Allen University to get 29-27 win. These guys are undefeated right now. Thank you again so much for joining me. Thank you for having me.